Well, hoops in the state have remained relatively unchanged for the last 35 years. Yeah, they are hooping. And as uh, sports anchor John Doss tells us, time is ticking on a new rule that could change the game. Yeah, come on, come on. They all want to play fast. Let's get it. That's the game now. 35 seconds. Go, go, right. Just over. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to speed it up. Oh! Half a minute. Makes you coach better. Makes your players play better. Right ahead. It's a beat. You want to get up and down the floor? Get it out, let's go! A rhythm. In theory. And a pulse. I think it would make the game more exciting. Go, go, go! On this floor. With the shot clock. Go! It speeds up the game. There's a hundred things that go through my mind. Yet can make it feel oh! almost ah! endless. 35 seconds is an eternity. And for all that talk about those 35 ticks. You go anywhere in the world, there's a shot clock. Ohio prep basketball. The only place they don't see it is here in high school. Has no such thing. Neither do 41 other states. Duck, duck, duck. But it could be on its way soon. I hate not having a shot clock. There are many coaches out there. Yeah! who are moved to support the change. That's what these kids want to do. We need to evolve and modernize the game to keep the fans interested, to keep kids interested. For both boys. Don't nobody want to pay their $7, $10 to go watch a team hold the ball for two minutes. That's you, Izzy. And girls. People have been in the game like me for a long, long time or hesitant of change. Do I think that we can adapt? Oh, nice pass. I think we could might take our girls a little bit longer. Hey, circle, we're in it. St. Ignatius coach Cameron Joyce thinks Get up, full court. it's about time. The kids want to be entertaining games, and the shot clock is only going to help them learn and grow. Get them off. But there are also those who oppose. We make it a possession game. The change. Imagine us playing brush and having a game where each team gets 45 or 50 possessions. We're in trouble. We're in big trouble. We want to keep the ball. They can't score if we have it. Got it. Oh. Keith Snotty knows that style of game. Good luck, though, by Billing. He retired after more than a decade coaching at Triway High School. I hope it never happens. His feeling on the clock? Yeah, I do have a strong opinion. I think it will hurt the type of play that schools like ours can do. Where there is some agreement is in the impact to the game's mechanics, regardless of how you play the game, motion, pick and roll, or zone. Possessions increase, so does pace, and perhaps scoring. To me, that 35 seconds represents a lot more than just 35 seconds in a game. It's not the first time there's been resistance to a change in the game. Consider this, at one time, basketball had no backboards. No dribbling, no dunking, just to name a few. We still have people commenting about a three-point line years later. It ruined the game. Doug Gute is one of the people who will take in all this input and sign off on it. Change can be good, and so that's a discussion with the shot clock. One way. Uh, you know, most people don't like change. Or another. But would it improve the game? But I'm going to take care of Ohio, and what's best for Ohio. But for now, we gotta talk, brothers. The hours of debate and discussions. I think the pure basketball will continue. That a small high school team wants to play is gonna be a thing of the past. And I think that would be a be a very, very sad thing. As the powers that be make the call yeah! on when or if. We just simply want to continue to evolve and try to make our game better. The time is right. And if we're not doing that, to change the game. You know, if we consider ourselves, I guess, guardians of the game a little bit, if we're not doing that, then shame on us. In Cleveland, John Dawes, <laughs> News 5.